Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. And today in this video, we are going to take a look the basic deep comp in Nuke. So as we saw in my previous tutorial, intro to deep compositing, uh, I show you all the basics nodes and how to do a basic deep merge and how to basically uh, render a deep, uh, you need to render separate EXR and a separate deep file, which is very efficient and very good way to, uh, you know, get more control over your deep and over your uh, EXR file. In this one, we are going to see the basic uh, deep flow, how to make a basic deep comp structure in a very basic way. As you can see, I have uh, this render. Uh, this render is uh, one of my friend give us and we are still working on the look development of this shot. So I just asked him to give me a deep render to just uh, demonstrate about the deep uh, deep flow. So if you don't know, we have a website called Granite Imagery, me and my friend. Uh, we are uh, doing some freelance work. So we made it a website. We are providing uh, some of the services. Uh, so if you go here, you can see we are providing these services. So and you can check the website and you can check the all the work we did currently we are working in a short film so you can uh, contact us here or if you if you need any service you can go here and if you don't need visual effects you can click here and all that you can check our work this is a very nice build website just for the client so if you are a client and if you are looking some of your product promotion or anything like that make sure you check here and check the all the work what we did and if you feel like we are capable of your style and your kind of work so do contact us uh, here we have an email address and a contact number as well so this is what we are doing in side by side so i asked him to give me a render so he give me a uh, uh, this uh, PNG which is the final uh, comp shot as you can see and then he give me one one tunnel and one uh, train in a separate way so if you check this one this pass first and if you check the alpha we have a white alpha and we have a tunnel going inside as you can see so we have uh, this path of this tunnel right and if you check the train as you can see we have a full train as you can see by expose up as you can see we train is going fully inside of this tunnel and as you can see we have this much of data here then you will see we have this much but uh, technically we have this much of space and this this part if you select this part and if you check the tunnel this part will going back side of this tunnel so you can't see it okay so in this situation if you trying to merge let's see the basic uh, 2d merge and then we will see the deep merge how to utilize the deep uh, to uh, seamlessly merging uh, two renders together so let's take a merge node connect this one to the b and this one to the a so as you can see you are going to face this issue so in the front everything will look good but in the back as you can see this tunnel is not going inside okay and this is just a single frame imagine we have this animated uh, camera movement it's very hard to merge without deep this kind of shot and you may think why we are separating these two things there are a lot of reasons we are separating these two things because if i render together i don't know what is behind i mean you don't have a data behind this uh, which is very required uh, when you are doing a defocus because you need to know what is the behind pixel is so as you can see if i turn this off we know this is the pixel exactly after uh, this train edge we have this pixel and we have this wire and all that stuff so uh, do a deep merge and after the deep merge then we can do a defocus uh, we can utilize the deep data so so then we know exactly what is uh, what is the behind pixel is and it will do a proper defocus and the second thing is we we can uh, separate out our object so we can uh, so we have a better control over it and and this kind of situation you can't use uh, what we call the id passes because this is fully opaque thing uh, you, you don't get this kind of edge uh, mat you will only get a one mat it's very hard to merge without deep these kind of shots so in the production we are also getting the same situation where we uh, where we try to merge uh, these two things without deep it is not gonna possible at all that's why we are uh, always render our gb pass and the deep pass separately as you can see we have a deep pass here uh, for the train and for that uh, tunnel also so as you can see i have this flow here as you can see so this is the flow we can use to merge basic deep structure so as you can see uh, to organize properly i basically did uh, one constant and as we saw in the previous one we we can convert any to 2d 2d uh, image into a deep image so that is what i did here a deep from image and then as you can see in, as i said as we saw in my previous what i did i 
take the RGB pass and the deep pass and and then I do a deep recolor. So now we have a deep and the color data separately. So if I need a grade, I can do a grade here. Still, th this is a deep in a deep output. So we can do a deep deep merge holdout and everything like that. After that, then I merge with the background. So this is the first one and the same thing I did here. Uh, for the train one the output is coming is unpremerd so if you check the alpha alpha is proper but this is unpremerd so we need to do a premerd here and then these edges will look very nice as you can see and then same thing we did we just uh, did a deep recolor and then we directly merge so now if i expose now as you can see this train is going properly inside uh, this uh, tunnel as you can see so if i take these two and just quickly merge these two together so as you can see before we have this now we have this so now as you can see it's merging properly because we have a deep information so deep will check uh, where this where the pixel is and it will merge according to the depth according to the depth uh, value and the depth position of the of each object so as you can see so we are not facing any issues while merging and if you Pay attention to the flows. If you check the edges, edges also looking very nice. As you can see, if I disable, as you can see, we have this tunnel edges here. And if I enable, as you can see, it's merging very nicely. As you can see, there is no artifact. As you can see, it's merging very nicely and very good. As I said in my last video, we have a massive advantage on the edges, getting very nice edges. And as you can see, after that you can basically convert this image into a 2d using div2 image so if i connect this one now as you can see we have this color bar here so now we converted this one and because we converted uh, this deep image into 2d image now we have a depth pass also as you can see it will automatically provide us the depth pass so you can use this depth pass to do a deep focus and all that or you can also uh, do a deep 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 focus so uh, there is one option uh, i mean technically we have two options but uh, there is one option called the pg bokeh you can use use that one to do a deep focus or we have or we have the new one the pixel fudger deep deep focus you can use this one also this is also working pretty good so as you can see this is deep so we, you can't connect uh, this one see this is a deep input and it's i think it's outputting the 2d so i think that's why this deep to image is not connecting using the deep data to do a deep focus so first thing what we can do we can uh, just do a enable length simulation and all that stuff and let me just quickly set this so as you can see i have a camera here so i know the exact camera parameters is so as you can see the film back is 36 so 15 millimeter focal length and 2.79 uh, actually 2.79 aperture so i can set all these things and then i can set the depth slice so here and here now you can see the this how this is defocusing this image so let's expose this up and let's place this one here so as you can see when we are defocusing there is no artifact and nothing like that as you can see it's defocusing very nicely as you can see everything is looking very good as you can see here and here also we have some artifact here because what he doing he basically doing a slicing thing so let me increase slice maybe five so if you do if you don't know about this uh pixel for the deep defocus make sure to check out his tutorial series about the new tools he released including this uh, deep defocus also and i think if i do a disjoint this may be gone they have some artifact but uh, overall if you check uh, here there is no issue here no issue here also you are getting nicely deep focus image using this tool so this is the advantage this is the one of the advantage of using deep so when you are do combining you can do deep focus and all the stuff i'm deleting this one let's use this uh, deep to image here and i have one setup here i will quickly show you what we have we have a same camera and uh, i have a noise here and uh, which i applied on a card okay and then i render through a scan and render with that camera uh, th this short camera okay so the scanline render also support deep by default if i take a deep merge and connect this one to this one deep only support uh, so deep node only support uh, if the node is supporting deep otherwise it will not gonna connect as you can see 
this candle under is supporting deep that's why this uh, deep to merge is connecting so if i view as you can see we are successfully merged this uh, plane with this uh, deep setup okay so doesn't matter the input a or b so if i move the card let's see if i move the card forward you will see the card is coming forward and we are slicing this train like that but it's not looking good correct because we have a sharp cut as you can see all over the place so it's it's not useful at all so for that we we need to basically increase uh, this deep value i mean what i mean by that if you come here let me check if i add any uh, let's see if i add a deep expression i just need to add uh, one deep node to sample the deep expression i'm just connecting here on the uh, scan line render so i can view uh, the, this deep front and deep back so if i check uh, if i select one sample here okay just one sample if i if you check in the alpha we have a deep sample 8.3 okay and if i go to the deep back we have exactly same number so what i mean by that uh, if i take deep two point and let's this is a deep this is a camera and if i view in a 3d space so as you can see this is the deep information we have we have only flat card as you can see we have a flat deep information basically see we have a deep but this is not in a depth it's a very flat card that's why when you are merging with with this it's looking cut out but if you view this deep, uh, this train deep data with this deep to point you will see we have an entire train inside and outside as you can see we have a much much nicer data for this train if i increase point size then you will see what i mean see as you can see we have a very good representation of this train as you can see this is only point cloud and for that card you don't have much here see we only have this flat card so if i view this together as you can see so it's basically doing like this so this is a basically deep merge it's happening if you see in a point cloud view so in the train we have this full deep data is going on all the way the back side as you can see and for the card we don't have so basically we need to increase the we need to increase uh, this one slice into multiple slice so we need to increase this deep value basically so the, that way card will no longer flat so it will not gonna cut in a very sharp way we need to increase deep value how are we going to do that there is a separate node so this is called a deep blur i will explain this one in a you know in a next video but as of now you just need to understand what i am doing here i'm just increasing this deep value so it can merge properly for that we need to do uh, hold out this one and if you do hold out then you will see what is happening so if i uh, if i did a five so i'm just placing this card back so as you can see what is happening here i'm pushing this back so as you can see suddenly this is not looking 2d now let me just merge and then we will see so uh, deep to image and then our normal merge node so this is a b like that so i'm just pushing this one here and adding a dot here so if i view now as you can see suddenly it's not looking 2d way so if i directly do a deep merge merge like this as you can see it's a it's a 2d but here as you can see it's getting a volume basically we are uh, increasing the uh, deep value so so that way we can do a properly fall off thing as you can see it's it's doing very nice job here as you can see and if i merge this here if i increase uh, this one more now as you can see it's getting inside uh, this smoke layer see and if i push this card back so as you can see what is happening so you get the idea how this deep is actually working here and it's very it's very a good way to use deep this way i use this many times in production also just to add uh, some 2d smoke layer and 2d fog and all that stuff just like this and it and it doing proper hold out thing as you can see there is no edge issue you're going to face that is why deep is so good because you don't get any edge issues at all so as you can see 
there is no edge issue as you can see it's perfectly blending what i can do i can just uh, color grade this and just taking this oh this is 2d so i need to connect here and as you can see i turn it this some kind of so as you can see this is very nice and then you can animate uh, this card like it's coming out or something like that you can push this back as you can see when you when i push this back it's going back then slowly comes out like this you get the idea what i'm uh, trying to do so this is the another way of using deep so there is a lot of way you can use deep day to day in your 2d uh, comfort flow if you render deep uh, with your 3d pass then you have a lot more flexibility in comp so as you can see this is what we did in just a few minutes without using any depth pass or anything we are just using deep pass to add this thing and edges is looking nice there are some issue here because of this uh, color grading as you can see so i think I, we need to do unprimant and then primant now as you can see it's looking pretty good here and here and everywhere as you can see so so this is the way you can use deep in your comp and this is the uh, deep structure you you need to follow so if you uh, have a deep in a separate way that is good if you don't have then you can directly do a deep merger i mean if, in some cases you don't get a separate beauty or separate uh, deep exr in some way you are getting uh, only deep exr which including your rgb and a deep file also so that way you can directly merge like this and like this and then you can uh, do your further comp okay uh, but the best way is separating your deep exr and your beauty exr is a very good way and very controllable uh, way to uh, do a uh, deep compositing so this is a simple nuke script i will share this one so you can check this one and all the node i have connected here including this uh, deep blur also so you can uh, see how this is working and in the next video we i will cover this deep blur also how i made this one and what is the expression behind is going on and how this expression is working all that stuff i will provide you this com this basic com structure uh, you can download uh, for free so and do uh, and let me know the if you have any questions about deep i will definitely try to help you and in the next one i will i will show you much bigger scene and much nicer looking not like this gray render i will get more uh, photoreal render and more deep uh, deep layers so currently we have only two layer of deep so in a future tutorial i will try to make a tutorial about uh, merging multiple deep layers together and also doing a multiple uh, 2d uh, deep comp layer also i mean just like what we did here the same thing i will do in a multiple way and then we are facing some issues then we are going to solve together and i will let you know how to solve this one because in a production i face many issues with the deep so you have to know how to solve solve uh, any deep issue if you are facing because if you understand all these nodes which we have in a deep menu there are not many tools but if you understand how to use all of them then you are in a very you know controllable uh, way otherwise you, you can't control the deep because only the deep tool is working with deep so that is a one tricky thing about deep i hope you learned something please let me know in the comment i will try to help you and this is the second part of this tutorial series hope you are enjoying and we will see you in the next tutorial about deep compositing thank you for watching